Hello friends, let's read a story for you all. Title of the story is Ink of Immortality, A Writer's Reunion Beyond Time, Goa, India, Present Day. Anya walked quickly through the busy streets, dodging people and vehicles, trying to get to her meeting on time. She was starting a new job as a marketing executive at a top firm and couldn't be late on her first day. As she hurried across the street, a cycle rickshaw cut her off abruptly. She stumbled trying to avoid it, losing her balance. Suddenly she felt a strong hand grab her arm, steadying her before she fell. Careful there, a deep voice said. Anya looked up to see a tall, handsome stranger who had caught her. Their eyes met and, in that instant, she felt something strange, a spark of familiarity, like she knew him from somewhere before. They continued gazing at each other speechless for a few seconds, before the man let go of her arm a bit awkwardly. Um, thank you, Anya mumbled, blushing. She didn't understand why her heart was suddenly racing. The man gave her a slight smile. You should be more attentive while walking in this chaotic city. Take care, he said in a kind tone before disappearing into the crowd. Anya stood there bewildered, unable to comprehend what had just happened. Why had looking at a complete stranger made her feel, whole somehow? Shaking her head, she continued rushing to her meeting, putting the odd encounter out of her mind. Over the next few weeks, Anya kept thinking about the stranger, distracted at odd moments by the lingering memory of his eyes, his voice. She didn't know why she couldn't forget him. One evening, her friends convinced her to go to a dance club with them. Anya reluctantly agreed, thinking it might help her mind escape that stranger. At the club, strobe lights flashed wildly over the energetic crowd. Anya sat awkwardly at first while her friends danced. Then a popular romantic song came on. Couples took to the dance floor, swaying gently. On an impulse, Anya got up and walked towards the crowd. She accidentally bumped into someone and turned to apologize. The words died on her lips, it was him. The stranger who had caught her that day on the street. He looked equally shocked to see her. Wordlessly, he took her hand and led her into the swaying crowd. She went willingly into his arms. They slowly danced together, gazing into each other's eyes again. The years seemed to melt away, Anya saw flashes. A young couple sneakily holding hands on a boat in the moonlight early 20th century Kerala, the same couple laughing together at a political protest, 1970s Kolkata, a tearful goodbye at a train station, the young man in military uniform, 1940s Shimla. When the song ended, they were both crying silently. He led Anya gently off the dance floor, to a quiet corner. I'm Arman, he said softly. And you're Mira. We, we've known each other before haven't we? Incredulously, Anya realized he was right. They had known each other across various lives over the past century. The visions she saw proved it, they had always been drawn together by love, but got separated by circumstances. Over the next few weeks, Armand and Anya spent all their free time together, sharing memories and strengthening their bond again. They learned about their past lives, different names different places, but the same soul seeking each other. It was destiny, reincarnation, soulmates, they weren't sure what force kept reuniting them. But this time, their joy turned to despair within months. Armand discovered he had a rare terminal illness, with only months left to live. They were heartbroken that after rediscovering their cross-century love, they would lose each other again. On Armand's last day, they went to the seaside and watched the sunset together. We'll find each other again Mira, Armand promised as he held her close. We're soulmates, not even death, can stop our love. Anya cried inconsolably as the light left his eyes. But despite the grief, she believed they would reunite. Their love had outlived centuries, it could overcome anything. Even death was only temporary separation. In the many lives to come, two souls would keep finding each other again and the story of their immortal cross-century love would continue. Goa, India, five years later. Anya walked along the seaside, the setting sun casting a soft orange glow across the water. She came here often, remembering her last moments with Armand. 
His words had given her hope through her grief, we'll find each other again. She still believed they were soulmates destined to reunite, but as the years passed with no sign, doubts had crept into her heart. Would they really find each other again in this vast universe? Lost in bittersweet memories, she didn't notice the little boy running ahead of her mother towards the water, chasing a runaway ball. The child didn't see the waves rising steadily. By the time she grabbed the ball, a strong wave was crashing towards her. Anya panicked, running into the surf, grabbing the little boy seconds before the wave could swallow her. She retreated back coughing and spluttering with the child clinging to her. The boy's mother came rushing, profusely thanking Anya before scolding her son for her carelessness. As Anya handed the child back, their eyes met and she stumbled in shock. Those eyes, she knew them, had gazed into them lifetimes ago. The little boy stared back curiously at first. Then incredulous recognition dawned in her face. Could it be? Anya's heart pounded. Eh, Armand, she whispered hesitantly. The boy broke into a radiant smile. Mira, she exclaimed, jumping back into Anya's arms. I found you again. Tears of unbelievable joy streamed down Anya's cheeks as she held the soulmate she had missed for years. Armand had kept his word their immortal love had conquered death and time once more. Many confused questions lingered in Anya's mind, but none of them mattered in that perfect moment of their predestined reunion. The story of their cross-century romance had come full circle, at last, in Goa's golden twilight. Over the next few years, Anya watched Armand grow up again, with joy and pride. Though only a child now, Armand's soul remembered their timeless bond even if the mind did not yet. They could both sense deep within that they were more than just family friends. A profound connection tied them in ways nobody else could fully understand. Anya found herself being drawn back through the years with each glimpse of a familiar mannerism, each spontaneous hug from the boy who was once her great love. She showered the affection on Armand she could not during their tragically brief time together in this life. Initially, Armand's parents were very welcoming of Anya's presence in their son's life. But as Armand grew more attached to her, they grew more suspicious of the unmarried woman with no familial ties to them. When Armand was 15, her parents cut off all contact with Anya abruptly. They forbade their son from ever speaking to this strange, obsessive woman again, who they felt exercised an unhealthy influence. Anya was distraught at losing Armand again so soon. Armand too protested bitterly at first, but eventually resigned herself to her parents' wish under threat of being sent off to boarding school. We will find our way back to each other, no matter how long it takes Mira. She whispered to Anya one last time before they parted, eyes glistening with forbidden tears. The years dragged on painfully slowly for Anya as she held on desperately to Armand's promise and her own undying faith in their destiny. She followed news of Armand closely as he grew up to be a successful writer. With each new book published, Anya's longing intensified, would their souls sing together again the way Armand's pen sang on those pages? Her chance came twenty years later at a book launch party where Armand was reading. Anya's heart almost stopped when their eyes met unexpectedly across the room. And she knew, Armand remembered too finally. Drawn together like magnets, they walked slowly through the fadeaway crowd until it was just them standing face to face. No words were needed in that magical silent space. The long bitter separation melted away as they fell into a tender embrace. At long last, after defying death, destiny had realigned their stars once more. This time, no one could tear their ancient souls apart again. Armand held Anya's hand tightly as they walked along the shoreline, the setting sun casting a soft glow on the sea before them. It had been six months since their tearful reunion at the book launch. After twenty painful years apart, they were determined never to separate again in this lifetime they had fallen into an easy rhythm. The early days of awkwardness smoothing into a comfortable intimacy that could only come from knowing someone over multiple lifetimes. Endless conversations, inside jokes, loving gestures each moment was crafted by the tapestry of their shared past. Yet, doubt still lingered at the edges of their bliss, what if destiny played another cruel joke? Like when Armand was ripped away by death last time? Their happiness still felt delicate, fragile. 
Sensing Anya's unspoken fears, Armand stopped and gazed into her anxious eyes. I know we can't control when fate intervenes Mira. But this time, I promise you I'm not going anywhere. We belong together, bound beyond just this life and time. Anya smiled with tears in her eyes, the golden sun rays glinting off the diamond ring Armand had placed on her finger earlier during their seaside walk. Its significance was greater than just a wedding promise. It symbolized Armand's vow to love her eternally, in every lifetime. The very next week, they had a simple court wedding attended only by a few close friends. The grandest celebration for them was not ceremonies, but the fact that after 100 years of missed chances, misfortune and waiting, they were finally united in this life as soulmates. As they slowly danced at home wrapped in each other's arms, Anya knew she had found her final resting place in Armand's heart. No more chasing shadows of the past, no anxiously waiting future lifetimes. They were here, together at last and forevermore. And wherever the voyage of reincarnation takes them, their love will always guide them safely back into each other's arms. For such is the extraordinary resilience of a romance destined across centuries, beating endlessly like the tides that first brought them together. Armand and Anya spent beautiful years together, making up for lost time and all the moments cruelly denied to them in the past. Their bond flourished even more with age as they nurtured the life they had yearned so long for. They gained fame by writing books chronicling their astonishing story of relentless love transcending lifetimes. The books became a worldwide phenomenon, inspiring belief in the power of undying passion like no other real-life tale had before. They were flooded with letters from souls hoping to reunite with their own lost love someday. In their peaceful golden years, they often would venture to the seaside, affectionately reminiscing about their first life together as young revolutionaries in early 20th century Kerala. We always did love the water, didn't we Mira? Armand would say, the same smoldering tenderness in her now elderly eyes. The day arrived when they left the mundane world hand in hand as always, to reunite somewhere beyond earthly shackles. Their already legendary story became a fable passed down generations about soulmates who traversed centuries to find eternal joy. Over time, many questioned whether Armand and Anya had truly lived through various births or just captivated people's imaginations. Ultimately it didn't matter, they awakened the world to believe in transcendental love. And perhaps somewhere, the two star-crossed souls are still entwined for another magical chapter among the stars destined through endless space and time. The End This story is taken from Book Name Reveal Past Lives Entwined in DNA. Reincarnation Volume 1 Author by Chandan Malana If you enjoy our stories and love reading, take a moment to explore our collection of storybooks and poetry. Find the link in the description below to delve into our captivating tales and poetic works. Thank you.